So let's demo long poses. This is where it gets fun. In reality, is your long poses even help your short poses? Okay, so this will be the po the model that we're going to use. Okay, we're going to use this as our guide, but we're always going to kind of change the technique up a little bit. So in this case, we're going to use uh, Conti and white, uh, kind of a creamy color pastel. Okay, are you ready? Uh, let's get to work. Okay, the first thing we want to do is start out thinking about what our story is. And the reality is we've got this pose that goes this direction. It's just a nice, long, sweeping pose. The reason why I like the Conti uh, these days is I'm getting a little tired of the, um, you know, I use the Prismacolor or the Polychrome, but they have a wax base. And what happens is the white, ch the white chalk, when it goes over that base, uh, kind of slip and slide. So in this case, they're all kind of chalky and uh, they go over each other really well. All right, if you notice, I'm going very carefully. Here's the head, there's the neck. Okay, the rib cage will continue with this flow, but it has kind of a, you know, the rib cage goes forward a little bit. So we have that, you see it? Real simple, okay? And then we're going to continue with the pelvis like this. Into the leg, into the leg, this way, and then down. We never copy the model, so we have the ability to interpret and make it better. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so take a look. You guys see that? All right, your turn. Go. All right, how'd you do? I forgot to tell you. What we're going to do is I'm going to draw, and then you're going to draw. I'm going to draw, and then you're going to draw. So this is the first step. How did it feel? Do you think you could push it a little bit more? Maybe the rib cage going a little bit more this way. Maybe getting that flow. Okay. Now the next step is what's happening. So we've got the pelvis. We get to see the inside. So we'll go like this. So you notice how light that is? I think you guys can still see that. Yeah. We want it to be light. Okay. And if I zoom in too close, and you won't be able to see anything. You want to see the whole, you want to get for the whole, call it going for the whole. And I can see into the rib cage here. And then the leg is coming towards me. See? So we want to grab this way. All right. And then this leg is coming towards. I'm going to go this way. And it's just the beginning and the end of what would be the cylinder. And this is all stuff that I expect that you know because they're on all the other tapes. Okay. Coming this way into the foot. And we're off the page there. Okay. So move up or forward a little bit. Okay. So see here. Coming down. Okay. And both arms are behind her. Now I wouldn't be able to use this for a portfolio, this pose, because you need to have hands and feet in all of your drawings. Okay. And then the neck is coming towards us. So we go this way. And then we go eyes, nose, mouth, proportions, which will be found in the head drawing videos. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, and again I'm not trying to kind of pimp the other videos, but uh, the reality is these are demo. These are draw long demos, and this is uh, now. If you already know figure drawing, and a lot of those demo, you know those fundamentals, say, hey, that's great. Move ahead. Okay. There we go. But a lot of times people think they know it, and then they get into the videos and they go, "Ooh, I didn't know that." All right. You ready? You go ahead and do this, and I'm gonna go. Uh, I don't know. Go out and get a burger or something. Okay. I'll be back. So what'd you think? Did it work? So we know what direction we're going. The next step, landmarks. So we're going to go pit of the neck, sternum, navel, and pubic arch. Bingo. Okay. And, uh, you know, if you're having trouble learning this, this is when you're at the beach and you see somebody that seems like they've got a good specimen, walk up, put your finger there, and just work your way down. Okay. Uh, they may mind, they may not. You'll find out real quick, though. Okay, you'll know real fast if they're not happy with it. All right, there's your landmarks. Then come to the other side, take your finger from their sternum, come on over and feel the other side of the rib cage here. Come on over and feel the other side of the rib cage there. Now this is a female, 
Uh, so she'll have a narrow rib cage and wider hips. So we'll go from the navel, pubic arch, come up the inguinal ligament, and feel where that, <laughs> and feel her anterior iliac crest. Could you imagine that? Oh, what great uh, romance. I love your anterior iliac crest. Oh, thank you. Okay, and then we're going to come this way. Feel where this turns, the plane of the leg, one over here, and feel that top plane. Real important because you can't put shadow patterns where you don't know where there's a side plane. It gets real mushy. Okay, and then we're going to feel the end here. And come on down to here, and again, feel where this is coming down below. Bingo. And here we go. What right of the, what right is that at Disneyland? Come on everybody. Here we go. Do this part and I'll tell you when you come back, okay? I think I'm gonna go uh, ride the Matterhorn over at Disneyland and uh, when I get back we'll move on to the next step, okay? Okay, that was fun. It was cool. And I got a Mickey Mouse hat and a t-shirt and uh, cotton candy and one of those big chicken legs. Okay, they sell turkey legs. That's weird. It's like being Fred Flintstone walking around a theme park. Okay, so here we go. The next step is now to take the side plane areas and convert them into finished shapes. Now, in this case, you're going to use a lot of your knowledge on what a figure looks like. If you don't know what it looks like, then you're spending too much time alone in your house. Get out, look around, okay? So what's gonna happen is this is gonna compress here, the rib cage, right there, see that? And then we're gonna come in, and we're gonna go back and back. Okay, get that nice structure here. And side plane. And then we have the add-ons. Hey now, draw the torso, draw the add-ons, get paid. Here we go. And there you go. And these add-ons are used to show the mass of the rib cage. That's why they were designed, to show mass. Any other reason would be um, another reason. Okay. Now you need to know your anatomy too. So you're going to notice where these muscles start to overlap. Okay, and that'll be on the anatomy videos. That's why we call them the anatomy videos. All right, we'll go back. And you're just basically drawing, see, what you know as the model. And that's the secret. You have to know what the model looks like. And then you'll come back in later on and change it to be our model. Okay, run this way, up around get the placements down and we're going to do a whole bunch of these because this is really where it's at if you could do a long pose then you can definitely do a short pose the short pose is the same as the long pose, it's just done um, shorter. Yeah. There we go. Okay. I'm going to give it a shot. Okay, I'm going to go back to Disneyland and get a churro, and I'll be back and to move on to the next step. Alright, that was good. So I'm going to have to work uh, about three hours to get rid of that churro. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work back and forth between our lights and our shadows because we know where everything goes. So you have your cross contours. You know, you can walk around. You know, walk on down the body. See? Basically, it's like uh, a freeway map. What we're going to do is we're going to start here at the uh, pit of the neck, come on down the main uh, 405, around here to the off-ramp, onto the, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, pectoralis major interchange over to the uh, the humerus, down to the radius, you know, down, down this way. Okay, moving on over, merging down over the external oblique. And you just literally work your way through the body um, as if you were on a freeway. Right. Okay, so now let's have some fun, okay? 
Let's uh, truck in a little bit so we can see. All right, so now what you're going to do is put in your shadow patterns, dark and light. So you see the light against the dark here? Let's have some fun with that. So light's coming this way. So we just start putting in our lights and working back and forth. See? It's always a little more contrasty on the camera, so that'll help you guys out. Here we go. Shadow pattern following the rhythm chart, which is really just your anatomy. Now, if you don't know the rhythm chart, it will frust this part will frustrate you. 